Is it hot in here? Or are you just listening to Radio Ridley Radio with Chinky Sweat? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One pound fish. Yo, what's what the fuck is going on, dude? Dudes. Guys. Dudes and guys. Dudes, guys. Dudes. Guys. Dudes. Dudes. Dudes, guys, dudes, what the fuck is going on, dudes? Guys. Dudes and guys, dudes and guys, what's going on? You're listening to Radio Ridley Radio. I'm your host, Michael Ridley. Today is March 6th. It's 8.03 p.m. Central Time. And you're here listening to the number one Christian, conservative, alt-right, liberal podcast. You're you're here with me. We're plugged in. We're in the studio. We're having a good time. Had a good little din-din. Had a good little din-din adventure with the boy Taylor. That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, earlier today, I fucking took Alpha Brain, and I'm feeling fucking alpha. You guys know what Alpha Brain is? It's when you let a ripped white dude suck your dick. That's what alpha brain is. You get brain from an alpha. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, dude. Killer. Have a good time, bro. I believe in you. (laughs) I can do anything now. I can think so clearly now. (laughs) I can think clearly now, my brain. (laughs) I can think clearly now, my balls are drained. I can see all obstacles that are gay. (laughs) And I can think clearly now, my balls are drained. It's gonna be a right, right, bright, sunshiny day. You're listening to Radio Ridley Radio. Boys, I'm hanging out, I'm having a good time. I'm living my life. Me and Taylor, what, we we hit the old uh, the buy the studio taco truck. Yeah, don't dox it. Ah, uh, dude, I'm not. I'm not even gonna. You're it's not, already blown up. You're not allowed to know where I get tacos. All right, I get real tacos, none of that torchies tacos bullshit. None of that. Sorry, Tyson's. I haven't had you yet, but I'm assuming it's white people tacos. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's good. I gotta try it. But torchies, nah, none of that shit. Not a chicken tender and a flour tortilla. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. That's not a taco. That's a fucking Mick wrap. Have you had? That's it a Mick snack wrap from McDonald's, dude. Yes, I've had it. It's <laughs> fucking gross. A fucking luke, of course I've had it. A lukewarm chicken tender and a flour tortilla. Go fuck yourself in the butt with your thumb, dude. That is <laughs> disgusting. I'm talking about, like, dude, if it's not a little metal box with three Mexican dudes sweating their asses off, I'm not eating it. <laughs> okay? If I if I don't get to show Taylor how good I am at speaking Spanish, we're not ordering there. <laughs> I do the. It, they don't ever know. <laughs> they never know. Have you watched? Do you watch them? They, they for like a brief second. When I go to the taco truck for a brief second, they're like, uh, "Buenas." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I hit them with a, "Yeah, uh, yo quiero tres tacos de carne on uh, you know, like flour or corn." I'm like, "Maize." And they're like, oh, "Okay." And then they'd be like, uh, "Do you want a? Do you want a? Do you want a cilantro and onion?" I was like, poquito cebolla, a little bit of onion. Oh, and then he's wow. like, oh, sheen. Flex, dude. Sheen. These motherfuckers <laughs> like, gee, sheen. Also. And they look at you weird like, is he, is he Mexican? Is dude? he Mexican? <laughs> Está Mexicano? Nah, dude. Estoy Filipino. Pero, pero, de la esposa. No, wait. Pero, el esposo de mi madre es un mexicano. So, yo necesito hablar español so I could talk to him. <laughs> That's how old my Spanish is. Dude. I'll be like, I'll be ripping it, dude. I'll fucking be killing it. And I'm like, don't re- <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't I, oh, I my, don't remember. My cover is a blown. Oh, my cover is blown. I'm not actually Mexican. <laughs> They're finding out I'm a Chinese. <laughs> They're like, he doesn't look Mexican, but neither did Pitbull. Uh, what the hell? I, uh, your cattle, uh, tres tacos de carne asada, please. I want, uh, 
dos, uh, dame una gringa con carne, por favor. I want to fight Chinese guys speaking Spanish. I, uh, y un Coca-Cola mexicana, por favor. Ay, tu, uy, tu. Yeah, I'm Filipino, Chinese, Mexican. I'm Chinese, Mexican. Fusion. Fusion, ha. Huh? <laughs> Chinese. Ha. <laughs> 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 Mexican. <laughs> bah! Dude, the Kamusta? Chi- I'm Filipino. Mexican Chinese fusion. Hello. I'm feeling good, man. But then what What else did we do? We got the tacos destroyed. Dude, I crushed like two tacos and a gringa in your boy's stomach. There was a mighty, there was a mighty grumbling. The, the verde sauce was spicier than usual. You know, the, uh, we were eating those tacos. And my half white side went, geez, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I took a bi- I took a bite into that green sauce. I turned white so fast. Good golly gosh, I need a <laughs> swig of this Coca Cola. Golly, <laughs> good golly gosh, <laughs> this is spicy. How do you guys eat this? How do you guys eat this? How do you how do you beaners eat this? God, your insides must be all fire, fire, fire. How do you? How do you wetbacks eat this shit? <laughs> Started becoming super white. Super, like immediately was like, go. Racist. I took a bite into the taco. I was like, go back to where you came from. <laughs> Just immediately fucking white. Like, I don't like Mexicans anymore. This is, what is this, some kind of dirty trick? Jorge, what are you doing? Jorge, come here. I don't like this one bit. Spicy as shit. Why am I in an Asian's body? <laughs> yeah, I'm a 1950s white racist. Why am I stuck in this Chinese body? <laughs> My God, what's happened? <laughs> Somebody save me! I'm stuck in a, <laughs> I'm stuck in a slantized body. Somebody get me out of here. <coughs> That's funny because you... that that ties into the uh, all the voices are trapped inside of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just souls of people that I've stolen <laughs> yeah, that live dude. inside of me. Yeah, I love that. One. Hey, bro, get me the fuck out of here for real! God damn, that shit's spicy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, why are we eating this shit? The one dude's like, I think he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. The one, the Mexican dude's in here like, shit, bro, I've been waiting for this. We've been eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Fucking Taco Bell. Yeah, well, what's wrong with Taco Bell? I like that. Now, that's tasty. They have three uh, heat levels. Honestly, mild's already, mild's enough for me. <laughs> if we're being honest, mild's more than enough. And then the it view. goes right through me. <laughs> I love that. White people eat Taco Bell. They're like, oh, my God, I can't stomach that. <laughs> What are you talking about, dude? It's ground beef and a flour. It's it's a cheeseburger. Taco Bell is just a cheeseburger cosplaying as a Mexican. <laughs> like it's, yeah. Taco Bell is just cheeseburgers cosplaying as tacos. Like if you look at it, the ingredients, like hold a Taco Bell taco. Like get a beef, ground beef taco from Taco Bell and just be like, so what is it because they they chop the beef up in the little balls now? Is that what gives you it's the like diarrhea? It's like a chopped cheese. It's, a, it's literally a fucking, what else? It, when I eat it, I'm like, this is a burger. This is a cheeseburger, dude. It's the same ingredients, dog. And it's supreme. You're going to charge me 30 cents extra for tomatoes? Go fuck yourself, dude. Talking a mess on Taco Bell is is crazy. Talking what? Talking bad about Taco Bell is crazy. Oh, I can. I've been I've been a patron for over 30 oh, years. Dude, they've how they've always been there for you. Oh, for sure, you know dude. I mean? You remember like being a kid smoking mad weed and they had those fucking $2 meal deals? Oh, yeah. Dude, with <laughs> fucking $2 meal deals fed a working class American for at least Dude, that they they built an entire industry off of one taco, a thing of cinnamon twist, and a Doritos and a and a drink for two dollars. That was those were the golden days. I don't even know what the fuck Taco Bell is anymore. This is yeah. Biden's America. We're in Biden's America where forty dollars of Taco Bell was uh fucking sixteen dollars worth of Taco Bell in two. Th- Dude, Taco Bell in two thousand and eight was peak when the Doritos Locos Tacos first came out. I will say in my crazy. I, I think the five dollar box got me through my twenties though. They came back for us in our twenties. The five dollar box. The $5 yeah, $5 now box. it's the Bill Drone Cravings box and it's eight bucks or some oh. shit like that. Yeah, it's not even dude, and the thing is, is like I remember when the chicken quesadilla was like three dollars and seventy nine cents. <laughs> chicken quesadilla is like six eighty nine now. And that sauce? Ooh. That chipotle. Oh, yeah. That chipotle. Nah, dude, I do I go crazy. <clears throat> I'm like my my eyes are big. I have big eyes when it comes to. My eyes are bigger than my stomach with Taco Bell. I fucking will just drop forty bones on Taco Bell, and it's eleven p.m. 
It's 11 p.m. and I'm eating forty dollars worth of Taco Bell, and I'm I don't even drink anymore. I'm still. I, here's the thing: you can take the alcoholic out of the body. You can take the alcohol out of the body, but you can't take the. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can't. You. It, I still have the the tendencies of an alcoholic, and it's binge eating. And I feel like I told you that we weren't going to eat too much. Oh, I told you I wasn't going to eat too much. I definitely ate too much. Yeah. Because not only did we go to the taco place and I got like a fucking gringa and two tacos and a Mexican Coke, we the verde sauce was so spicy and Taylor was talking about, God damn. Like, Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't tell him we did it. Taylor was, Taylor was, Taylor was like, God, the verde. <laughs> I was not. Mid mid bite of the taco, Taylor goes, "Oh, the verde is hotter than usual." Good <laughs> God, he do, he becomes that guy. Taylor becomes that guy, dude. Full blown Caucasian. He totally Caucasians out. He goes, he, he totally whites out. He goes, "God, the verde is spicier than usual today." We go, we frequent this place every time we're at the fucking studio. So I'm like, we're driving by, and we've never stopped. There's a Dairy Queen by the stew, and uh, I was like, dude, I'm trying to get a cone. You trying to get a cone? He's like, I'll get a cone. We can go. Fuck it. I, I went to the gym yesterday. Let's have one. I was like, oh, my God, dude. You're two for two right now. We go in. We, we go in and, uh, good God, dude. We're just two dudes. We're just two dudes fucking platonically eating ice cream, looking gay as fuck. Two dudes getting cones. It'd be different It'd be different if we had uh, gotten Sundays with a spoon and a bowl. No, two dudes. We didn't even eat indoors. We were out front like fucking Jay and Silent Bob just eating ice cream like a couple of fucking... Doucherinos, dude, and they had the um Yeah, dude, seriously, dude, that was us. Probably the gayish the gayest shit I'd done all week was get <laughs> two ice cream cones with Taylor. And I'm I'm making jokes. I'm fucking with the dude. I'm fucking with the dude behind the counter. What did I say to him? You're like <laughs> he was like, is, is that all you guys want? And you were like, Yeah, that's all for two guys. Yeah, yeah, that's all for just two guys, uh just two guys getting ice cream together, not gay at all. It's definitely not gay at all. This is the gayest shit I've done all week. Just two guys platonically getting ice cream at fucking 7.30 p.m. on a Wednesday. Is I it would, Wednesday? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm, like, losing track of time and shit, dude. I wish, I wish that guy would have said something funny, like, uh... Like, he was like, he was like, nah, man, that's fine. I, I get cones... <laughs> I get cones with my boys, too. It's little yeah. Edgar. Little, like, Dairy Queen Edgar behind the counter. Shit, like, I get cones with my boys. It's, it's cool, <laughs> It's okay, bro. Like, if you want to get a cone, it's cool. Like, That's exactly what he said, too. Yeah, he looked down and shit. He wasn't all. Co- he was like all coy and shit. He was like, I can get a cone. he was like bummed that we were making fun of it because he gets cones with his a, boys. You can get cones with your boys if you want. He, he was mad weird, bro. He I didn't did like look, that. Well, energy. he did look like he was like maybe sixteen or something, and yeah. so he like he couldn't he can't go out drinking with the boys. So that's what he does with his yeah, homeboys. Yeah, did you ever just get? A and fucking, then we just roasted. We just roasted, roasted the him. shit out of him. We were roasting the shit out. I was like, dude, yeah, you, you, you get cones with the boys, dude. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. We were like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, he's like, yeah. I mean, sometimes I, I and he was he, he. I don't think he could pick up that we were fucking with him. He was like, yeah. Sometimes I bring him here. And, <laughs> You know, I get a discount. And shit. Like, it was, the vibe was like, yeah, I, I show my, I, I know how to be. A, he's a good friend. He's yeah, like, a, he he's is, a stellar he friend, and we're just cool. we're just roasting the shit out of him. I like that Dairy Queen. I'll be back next week to rob the fuck out of it at gunpoint. <laughs> pull tell, up that pull up that article, dude. Here's my thing. T- tell him. Okay, sorry. We got what? Tell him about what? I was just gonna say, tell him exactly what we got too. Oh it's yeah, even, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. a little gayer. Even. It's even gayer because we got two large. They got a new, uh, we got two large dip cones. <laughs> I put my hand up on your hip. When you dip, you dip, we dip. I put my dick up on your lips. That's how fucking gay it was, dude. We got two large dip cones, new flavor of dip. They have cake funfetti dip. So it's a rainbow, just two speckled rainbow ice cream cones, two Fucking heterosexual platonic bros just slurping cones out front of goddamn out slurping cones out front of Dairy Queen like we're uh, like we're fucking like we're on King of the Hill <laughs> just, just in the alley just mm-hmm. yep yep mm-hmm. <laughs> man old dangle and fucking throating a cone man fucking <laughs> you were throating it too dude I throat dude I throat my cones dude <laughs> I stay throating a cone dude leave me alone I'm throating a cone. <laughs> That's what I say. People people will be like, yo, Ridley, slow down on the ice cream. And I'll be like, leave me alone. I'm throating a cone. <laughs> be throating them cones, dude. Leave me alone. I'll be, be at home. Hey, 
fuck out my face. Leave me alone. I be at home, throwing the cone, giving it dome. Shluck, shlucking and glucking, I'm, I'm giving it dome. And when when it came out too, it was it wasn't even set, so it was kind of oh yeah. It was That's how you know I was, I was fat as fuck too. I could I would. He had just dipped it, and I, I know procedure. I've seen I've, I've I've been to many a Dairy Queen. This kid didn't follow fucking procedure. It was a fucking Dairy Queen just run by like five Edgars, and I called that shit. Mm-hmm. Taylor thought it'd be black people working there. I'm like, nah, it's gonna hey. be five different versions of the same. It's just because Edgar. of the area that we're in. You know? <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. Uh, our uh, our studio is located in the south side of Chicago, so he was very puzzled to see <laughs> that there were five various <laughs> Edgars. It was like the same Edgar, but like you had extra large Edgar, you had medium uh-huh. Edgar, you had teenage Edgar, you had like chubby like manager Edgar, and it was funny because when they handed us our cones, like. The manager was like, hey, I need you guys to do that before you. And I was like, oh, is he talking to us? <laughs> like We thought the way he was talking, like the direction he was talking was like, hey, I need you guys to clean the bathroom before you eat those cones, bro. <laughs> like, like, like he was about to hire me. Yeah. Like, uh, I need you and your gay friend. To- <laughs> hey, I need you two homos to clean the bathrooms before you throw those cones, bro. Hey, uh, you gay dudes. Hey, gay dudes, clean up the bathrooms before you start throwing them shits, all right? Before you throw those cones. Hey, bro, before you guys like. Hey, before you guys like interlock arms like you're at a wedding, before you throw those cones, <laughs> like when it, the that's cheer. what he should have done. Yeah, dude. He, <laughs> I bet you we left, and he goes, "Man, I should have made fun of them." Yeah, that yeah, kid left and was like, "Bro, those guys were gay as shit. <laughs> those were too gay." To... <laughs> yeah, one of his coworkers came up to him. He's like, "Bro, why you let those gay guys play you like that?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, you let those gay guys clown you, eh? <laughs> was that one guy Mexican or not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's like one Mexican guy and like his his gay Viking boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was mad funny, dude. It was like, bro, he ain't fucking throating the cones, dude. Yeah, I fucking, uh, yeah. The so he dipped the cone right, but he didn't let it set all the way, and I was so fat that your boy just started gobbling in, and it wasn't crunchy. I just it just started melting and dripping down my face immediately, and I just looked mad gay and mad fat. I looked like a gay fat Mexican dude. It was hella embarrassing. <laughs> it was so fucking embarrassing. I fucking and and then I got to the studio immediately and just like shit my brains out for like thirty minutes before we started this podcast. I don't know what I'm doing to my body. I think it's the alpha brain, honestly, because I've been on it all week. I've been on it all week. You've been and on it's it for just, two days. Yeah, it's all week. I've been on it for all week. I've been on Alpha Brain for two days, and I've had violent diarrhea. But, yeah, dude, that's the cost of being an alpha, you know what I mean? A fucking Dude, I, I don't have time to take solid shits, dude. I, I'm on the go. I'm on it. I'm on it. And by on it, I mean the fucking toilet constantly. Dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alpha Brain, you'll shit your fucking brains out. <laughs> Alpha brain, you'll shit out your fucking brains. It's insane. <laughs> you'll think more clearly because your bowels will be clear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your mind and your bowels will be clear. Alpha brain. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Alpha brain going out my ass. Well, I, I was wondering if that was Bill Alpha Nye. brain rule. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if that was Bill Nye or was. Ow, ow, ow. Alpha brain, you'll shit out your brains. <laughs> Diarrhea rules. <laughs> it's fucking how I feel taking that shit. But I am clearer on stage. I do I do like it. It's like Adderall without all the gobbledygook that comes with it. But we went to Dairy Queen because your boy had a fucking hankering. All right? I am a uh, cisgendered male, but I feel like I have the cravings of a pregnant woman in her second trimester. <laughs> My feet are swollen, I'm bitching, my back hurts, my tits are sore, and I have, I be having some cravings, dude. I be great, like for real, I just want a cherry dipped cone. That's all I want in my life. I just want, I just want some alpha brain and a cherry dipped cone, okay? I want some raspberry lemonade alpha brain, wreaking havoc on my stomach, much like my son. And I want some fucking, I want some fucking cherry dipped cones, and uh... They discontinued the cherry dipped cone, and I just figured out what it was like three months ago. So every time, like me and my wife will go to Texas Roadhouse, like I mentioned, um, 
that's a something about our marriage we love going to texas roadhouse and then there's a dairy queen right next door so you know your boy be trying to get that cutter butter so i'll be like hey girl you want to get some fucking dairy queen and my bitch loves going to dairy queen me and my wife are like a 50s couple that is uh we're, we're not cheating on each other and we actually love each other and i'm hitting the fuck out of her <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm hitting her but i mean she's a good woman <laughs> We have a very traditional marriage where, like, you know, she cleans the house, she fucks it up, I hit her. You know, <laughs> why, why, are, why are my, why don't I have any clean socks? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, very traditional. You know, old school. You know, back when you know love was love, <laughs> and uh, we go to Dairy Queen, and I like getting the di- uh, cherry dip cone, and they do not fucking have it anymore, dude. But some news I have. You have news? Yeah, right here. Beep 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 beep. beep. I can't read the. Dairy Queen brings back the cherry dipped cone after year long discontinuation. Yeah, dude. That's fucked. That shit pissed me off. I'm so amped. We went to the. I don't know when it's going to happen because we went to Dairy Queen and I was like, hey. Hey, it's your boy. Uh, hey, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy, Alabaster Jones. I got one quick question for you, Dairy Queen. Do you have any cherry dipped cones? I'm trying to. Give dome to a cherry dip cone Cause I've got a fucking craving And I'm going fucking crazy I just got Texas Roadhouse with my lady I'm on my second trimester With this motherfucking baby (laughs) I'm Alabaster Jones And I'm craving a cherry dip cone And they be like nah bro we don't have it We don't have a cherry dip cone But we do have this fucking gay Tutti fruity (laughs) Cake blast in your ass (laughs) We got this cake funfetti up your asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to bring it back. I want to call. We <laughs> should. We, I, should we I should call? let the people know that when I got in the car with you and you got here to go get food, mm-hmm. you were on. You were on the horn. <laughs> with, <laughs> with, <laughs> I was already on the phone. You were on Dairy Queen. Yeah, yeah, and it was like. It was like press one for, for to speak with a cake specialist, and I'm like, oh, give me the cake specialist, give me somebody. Yeah, and you and you, and it was like, please leave a message, and you hadn't said a word to me yet, and because you were on a phone call, I was quiet when I got in the car, and uh, I didn't know actually who you were calling, and it was just like I thought you were calling the bank or something, and then we got in there, and you just the first thing you say when I get in the car is, <coughs> I'm Alabaster Jones. I'm Alabaster Jones, and I'm wondering, Derek Queen, do y'all have any cherry cones? That's exactly what you said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking call one right now. Come on. Hold it out of your face. Hold it to the side. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. You really think DQ is gonna pick up? Do yeah, they Dairy pick Queen's up? Dairy Queen's like my dad. <laughs> You think he's gonna answer the phone? They, he might. They only call you when they need something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, uh, can you come back here and clean these bathrooms? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I was like, was Thank it? Thank you for calling Mayfield Dairy Queen in Austin, Texas. We are excited to join the community in South Park Meadows. Please listen carefully as our menu has changed. Come on, baby. It's Alabaster, baby. Pick up the phone, baby. (laughs) It's your boy, Ali. Ali Basta. I'm on the phone now. You're on the Radio Really Radio Show podcast. (laughs) Yeah. It is after business hours. No, it is not. Hey, what's going on? You're on Radio Ridley Radio. I had a quick question. It's your boy, Alabaster Jones. I just had a quick question for you. Have y'all brought back the cherry dip cone? Damn, he hung up. Damn, dude. He hung up on me. I hit him with the Radio Ridley radio, and he was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get paid enough for these, bro. <laughs> that, was, that was a white dude. He was like, hello, this is Dairy Queen. Oh, I couldn't hear him. I think. It's Mayfield Dairy Queen. Metro closes at 11. Dude, we, now, that, now that we got one, I'm like, call them all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just want to get, get a Dairy Queen. You, just got, you can't tell them the Radio Ridley part. Okay. Got to go right into character. This might be a bum one too, dude. Sorry, I don't know, it rang for a while. 
Hey, baby, this is Alabaster Jones. Been a big fan of Derrick Queen since I was in my early teens. I got a quick question for you, baby. Leaving a voicemail for you motherfuckers when you, open a fo- when you answer the phone tomorrow. I'm just wondering, when are you going to bring back that cherry-dipped cone, baby? I've been scratching my neck for weeks because I'm a motherfucking freak when it comes to the cherry-dipped cone. Holla <laughs> back when that motherfucker come back. Please, please, baby, I'm fiending for that cherry-dipped cone, baby. Let me know when it comes back. I love y'all, Derrick. Queen, y'all keep it 100 for real, for real. Mwah. Alabaster Jones, I'm out of here. <laughs> Just leaving fucking voicemails. That was, that was I, feel like I, used to, I feel like I used to do this when I was a kid, like prank call. Play. Yeah, I, just, I, I mean, I, I used to do this as a kid in like a, as of like yesterday. <laughs> I still do this. I'm 30 years old. I still fucking call places. Come on, dude. We got so I know, else. please. Hey, uh, quick question. I just had a quick question here for you. Name's Alabaster Jones. Hey, yeah, it's Alabaster Jones. I was wondering if uh, the cherry dip cone has made its return. I'm so sorry, sir. Can you say that one more time? Uh, yeah. One, one second. Let me pass the phone to my buddy. Maybe he can help. Hello? Hey, brother, I just had a quick question. We're going to head up there to the Dairy Queen. Uh, but I was just wondering, do y'all have the cherry dip cones back yet? Do you know when they're going? Uh, do you know when they will be making their uh, their return? No, they're discontinued. Uh 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 uh. That's not what I seen on the internet, baby. I seen an article that that clearly declared that the cherry dip cone will be making its grandiose return to the Dairy Queen. And I've been a fan okay, of the Dairy Queen since I've been in my early teens. And I just need to know: Will the cherry dip cone be making its return? And do you know? Have you have you all gotten an email? Maybe a newsletter from uh, headquarters? No. No. Well, brother, God bless you, and uh, I'll continue to pray for the day that I'll see the cherry dip cone back in stores and locations. I will call you next week, same time. It's your boy, Alabaster Jones. Uh, You know, stay greasy, baby. I love you. All right. Bye. I totally knew you were fucking with him, dude. That was awesome. Yeah, you should be happy. Because if I was at work, I'd fucking just stay on the phone the whole time. Yeah, why not? I'm getting paid for this. This is amusing. Yeah, Yeah, we got to work on that. I want to I want to bring prank calls to Radio Ridley Radio so oh, fucking for sure. bad. That was we that was hook- a beta. If you guys hey, if you guys want to see prank calls on Radio Ridley Radio, me and Taylor will do some research and figure out how to bring those here to you. Tell I'm us who sure, to call. Uh, yeah, tell us who to call at Radio Ridley Radio at gmail.com. Give us an idea. Send us a friend's phone number. Give us some prefacing. I'll start fucking with people on the phone. You want to help? You want to help contribute to the show? If you want to feel part of it, dude, go ahead. Radio Ridley Radio at Gmail. You know, give me a, fi- a send us Send us your mom's phone number. Send us your mom's phone number. I'm really good at talking to moms, dude. You are. You talked to my mom. Yeah, dude. Your mom was... Chill. She was very chill. A little too chill. I had to show her the wedding ring a couple times, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> chill, dude. What? I'm being honest. Chill with that. What was the first thing she said to me, Taylor? I don't remember. Oh, he's a lot cuter in person. Oh, damn it. I was like, yeah. Mom, you're yeah. such a whore. <laughs> <laughs> mom, get off his nuts. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Mom. Mommy's my friend. Mom, he's already got a fucking huge ego. He doesn't need that. <laughs> yeah. Mom, he doesn't need that. Mom, he's going to hold this against me on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. He's going to use this against me, Mom. He rules my life. He's go- he's going to do a- he's going to do I could bang your mom jokes. <laughs> he has my location on his phone, Mom. <laughs> Stop. He's going to call no, it me is in like the a, middle it, of the night and be like, <laughs> yeah, to- 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 totally bang your mom, dude. dude Christy. <laughs> What's her name? Yeah. Christy. Yeah, she's the best, dude. She's cool. She's the best, Christy. I know, dude. She's a <laughs> she's a crazy lady. She's crazy. Your mom was putting them down, dude. She your mom was getting drunk, dude. Yeah, dude. She was partying for my birthday, dude. She was in town. She's incredible, dude. It was cool. She's Why do you think I'm so cool, dude? My parents are cool. What yeah, you your my dad. dad my dad's a ledge. Yeah, your dad's a ledge. And you know what, your dad? I've never met your dad, but your dad sounds like your dad's voice sounds like he just lives out of a van. <laughs> but it's not because he has to. It's because he's chosen. And it's not van life. It's like he's got a he's got a van with a couple of longboards strapped to the roof, and he goes to the coast, and he's just like, you know, I, you know, I've I've got plenty of money. Now I just, you know, it's just me and the me and the, me and the ocean. I think you'd like to do that. What just surf? Does your has your dad ever surfed? I don't think so. I don't know. He, he used he to sounds, jump out of airplanes and shit. Yeah, he sounds like a dude. He sounds like a dude who would do some gnarly shit. Dude, he used to be in like special ops. He was uh he was in Panama when Pablo went down, dude, doing communication shit for the 
yeah. war on drugs, dude. Your dad was all tapped in. He's like, dude, yeah. he's, he's taking a shit right now. I can hear it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were intercepting. I'm pretty sure he just had two tacos and a green gun and, and just <laughs> throated an entire dipped cone at <laughs> Dairy Queen. And now he's in the bathroom and he's going, ay, chinga su madre. <laughs> ay, puta madre. <laughs> Pablo Francisco dropping a, not Pablo, Pablo Escobar dropping a couple of Escobars in the fucking, <laughs> dropping a couple of loaves off. Dude, when you speak Spanish as the Chinese, per, or not, or just when you speak Spanish, just in general, you could be like a character on Narcos, like one of the bosses, like one of the mob guys. Sí, claro. Pero <laughs> necesito mudar todo la blanca. Sí, la cocaína es el mundo. It's my world. Everything you see, look out the window. Everything you see, it's the meal. It's mine. <laughs> I remember my father, he used to give me the bags and I would do the handoff. I would pasarlo los, los uh, packages. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> like the jig is up. I'm like the shittiest undercover. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I go in, uh, I'm having dinner with them, and I'm like, oh, the Verde is a lot spicier <laughs> than it usually is. Jeez Louise. I'm like, fuck. Big callback episode. Yeah, those are, yeah I'm like yanking hella callbacks yeah, out there. Dude, I good. had one. Yeah, you know, what would you do? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. I forget. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is he Mexican? Yeah. Is he Mexican? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, like that, uh, I like the one where I was like, hey, I need you guys to fucking <laughs> clean the bathrooms. <laughs> it was silly. Oh, yeah. Well, oh fuck. wait, you had to do one more part though, as the Mexican mobster guys. Like you were doing the the chill business, like mm -hmm. intimidating business character. Mm -hmm. But you got to do like when uh, the other rival cartel steals shit from you guys, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, 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 you yeah. start pit okay. slamming the table. Okay, okay. <laughs> I gotta take the headphones <laughs> off for this one. Uh. So what do you what do you think this is? <laughs> I wanna know. Be honest with me. Tell me the truth. You think it's some kind of game? You think I'm playing some kind of game? <laughs> huh? This is my life. This is my working. This is my life working. La cocaína es my, mi vida. Okay? Mira, mira. Look at, look at all the couches in my house. I got a lot of couches in my house, right? Because I'm working. Mudando la cocaína todos los días de mi vida, pendejo. ¿Te quedes jugando conmigo? ¿Tú quedes jugando con mi pinche dinero? Ay, su madre. Carlito, mátala a todos. In scene. <laughs> that was fucking awesome, dude. Dude, dude, you gotta send that to just like we gotta clip that and send it to Netflix and just be like, oh my god, he's I do want to do. I, I I forgot this. I forgot to tell you this. So that was fucking I have an awesome. Idea, I have an idea for uh, content that I want to put on my Instagram that I need your help with. Where it's like literally like. I'm a comedian, right? And I have no interest in acting. I have no, in I, I hate that shit. I don't like auditions. I don't like the pressure of an audition. I don't like any of that. But I think what would be funny is that me, a totally like not serious guy, everybody knows me from this show. Everybody knows me in Austin and comedy and all this shit. I'm not a serious, uh, I'm not a serious guy whatsoever. I'm very goofy. But I want to create a series of acting reels, reels. Where we just like we make a reel of me acting out scenes like mm -hmm. I want to do like one where I'm having like a crucial anger mental breakdown or like, and I'm crying and it's all serious and mm -hmm. shit and there's sad music playing and I just want to put hashtag comedy hashtag funny hashtag funny memes. but just totally serious <laughs> super serious yeah like that do dude we're clipping that 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 was incredible, yeah that was dude. amazing that was that was like fucking that was so believable and then I fucking put the faded sunglasses on I was like these every time I put these on I feel like a Mexican <laughs> it, it was all the moments like when you called Carlito over Carlito matalo todos kill them all kill fucking, them all <laughs> fucking dude whoa Carlito <laughs> Matalo todos. It's like fucking that just, was, that, that was, was so smooth. It was, was like, do you want to playing with me? Because <laughs> I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was an that was Oscar award-winning.
Yeah, dude, that was a that was a uh, Jorge Award winning fucking. That was an Edgar Award winning. <laughs> that was an Edgar Award winning performance. Yeah. Yeah, I that won, performance. I won the Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> just, os- just edit <laughs> Photoshop an Oscar with an Edgar haircut. That's yeah. <laughs> Mexican films don't win Oscars; they win Edgars. <laughs> and the Edgar goes to. <laughs> and the Edgar goes to. Romeo must die, <laughs> starring Antonio Banderas. <laughs> is that who is in? I've no, I don't know what that movie who's is. Who's in Ro- Romeo must die? Yeah, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. You don't remember Romeo Must Die? Or what is his name? It's got to be Romeo Must Die. It's a Jet Li movie, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Look. (laughs) Uh, Thank you so much for the Edgar. (laughs) Thank you so much. I'm Jet Li. My name is Jet Li. I am so thankful for winning the Edgar Mexican Movie Award. He's still alive. Yeah, dude, he's 60. I saw a video of Jet Li and um <laughs> No, what I love what I loved about this video about Jet Li is that he was talking about he was like, "Man, I remember being in China and like winning all these awards and getting all these and selling like doing so well in China. 20 25 million Hong Kong dollars is what he called them. Uh. I made 25 million Hong Kong dollars. It's not enough. I want to I want to go to America. I want 25 million American US dollar. I want that. <laughs> so I go to the US and then well, I want more. I want more. I want more. I want more and I want more and it was never enough because I needed within myself. I needed to be happy within myself. It was like a story of like dude the dude basically Probably one of the most successful. F- I like Jet Li more than Jackie Chan. I think you know Jackie Chan had his dope movies. Like he had those all those. Um, Jackie Chan always had those cool car movies. He was always driving a cool car. So Jackie Chan was funny too. Jackie Chan was mad funny. Like he I think would, once he like figured Rush out Hour and shit was so yeah. Once funny. he figured out like Shanghai, Shanghai New- Nights, oh, those Shanghai, are so good. Shanghai Nights, and Rush Hour. Once Jackie figured out that like the best way to make money is to be a not only be a badass Asian, but everybody. Every Asian dude is badass, mm-hmm. right? Every every Asian dude in these movies, they're either pussies or they're badass. So let's be a funny pussy that's badass. Because there were times where Jackie was scared. He'd be, he could see it in his face, like in the Rush Hour movies. He'd be like, oh, Kata, get down. Oh, Kata. And, and Chris would be like, Jackie, uh, <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> Jackie, you crazy. You crazy. Kata, get down. Kata. <laughs> Gotta get down! Oh, ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ooh! It was funny. He was, he, was, he was expressive. Like they'd be fighting, and he'd have like a food tray. He'd be like, ha, ah, ooh, ee, ooh, ha, ah, ee, ha! Ah. Blocking all the punches, and then he would ah, hit ooh, him over the ee, head with ah, it. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, ah, ooh, ee, ah, ooh! <laughs> and then throw it at so- another one of the guys. Yeah, he'd be like, ah, ooh, ah, ee, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Kata, Kata, ah, ooh! Ah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> ah, ooh, ah, 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 ooh. That's that's just forty five minutes of rush hours. Ah, ooh, ah, e, ooh, ah, e, ooh. Kata, Kata. I can get here. I could listen to an hour of you doing that, dude. And then doing it, the the Jackie Chan Chris Tucker back and forth is so good. Nah, man, I'm not jumping down there, Jackie. You have to. You have to jump. We have no choice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> he does it anyways. He talks Chris Tucker into doing it. What's crazy is Jet Li looks like you, like, if you would have, like, stayed in school. Look. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have just like had a career, had like a like a normal career, <laughs> when you blow up and become Hollywood famous, this will be you at your movie at your movie showing. It literally just you're gonna look just it's like me this. at the Michael Ridley biopic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <with> my hair plugs, <laughs> finally afforded hair plugs, not Turkish ones. I'm talking U.S. of A. <laughs> the the bald look is good too. Yeah, I was thinking about going bald. What do you guys think? You think I should sh- cut all this shit off? I was thinking about cutting all this. Just cut all this off. Just cut the top off and make like pseudo bald, like make a fake bald. Just have the <laughs> <laughs> the donut with the mullet. 
Yeah, donut with the mole. What I really like is just a second ago, a little singular hair flapped down, and you looked like a fighting game character. That's it d- it that. Does. I w- I would love if you could somehow get that all, all the time. So you look like Jin from 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 Tekken. Look at. Sometimes it does that. Yeah, dude. If I don't wash my hair for like two or three days, it it dude it reeks like and it's these, greasy. These little single hairs, dude. Yeah, those ones when they droop down like that, and I have it all. Yeah, sometimes it looks good. Like, he kind of had the original emo haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the trip pants. <laughs> he did. He was kind of. Jin, Jin wore trip pants. Like he'd fucking. Imagine getting your ass beat by a dude wearing trip pants. How embarrassing. Also, that glove. Dude, I wanted that glove so bad as a kid. I wanted that Jin glove. Yeah, dude, in those pa- Look at those trip pants. Those are badass. <laughs> Honestly, dude, if I was in that shape, like if I looked like that, I would wear I would wear that every day. You know why you don't look like that? Why? Uh, cuz I'm gay and I eat ice cream. <laughs> Shucks. Click on that one right there. Which one? Click on that one directly to the left. Get the images. That was us, dude. <laughs> like, ah, we were being mad gay. We were so amped. Incredibly amped. This is more accurate. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was literally us. That was literally us outside of the fucking just Jay and Silent Bob eating ice cream, dude. I love the polarizing colors, too. He's got, like, one's got khaki shorts, one's got blue shorts. <laughs> this was a stage photo, dude. Hey, when yeah, you the two dude, fat dad looking guy. Yeah, the dude on cream? the right looks like the the dude on the right just looks like the 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 biggest dickhead at Best Buy. Dude, this is actually a really funny Google of just dudes eating ice cream together. <laughs> this is pretty good, dude. They all look AI generated. That one is hella sus. This is actually us, right? That here. was actually us there, <laughs> like just two bros fucking, you know, chilling eating ice cream. But how it felt is that picture right there, this top one? left. Nope, top left. Nope, you missed it. You were right on it. That one. That's how it felt. <laughs> how it actually was, we were just idly eating ice cream, talking, laughing about how awkward it was. Like this. Yeah, we were just like, yeah, dude. Yeah, that I, was us. I'm glad that this stock image exists, too. Yeah, the reality. Straight dudes eating ice cream. The dude. reality versus how it felt. That's <laughs> <laughs> literally how, how we saw each other, how everyone else saw us. <laughs> like. It was pretty bad. It was horrible. <laughs> Lean on me. The title is Young Couple. When you lick cones, I'll be your friend. We all need somebody to suck on cones with. Lean on me. Because when you throat cones, I'll be your friend. <laughs> we all need somebody to throat cones with. The title of this is Couple Eating Ice Cream. It's like, just call it what it is. That's gay dudes yeah, eating ice cream. A couple of gay dudes <laughs> yeah. eating ice cream. More like it, dude. Couple of homos <laughs> sucking that processed dairy via. What is this one, dude? Why are we looking at these? Yo. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? What in the non binary is going on here? Look at these guys. He's like, <laughs> what? open up. This is such a good rabbit hole, honestly. This is, dude. Who knew that googling two dudes <laughs> Look, eating this ice is what cream? You were talking about two dudes. Yeah, yeah. That- <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what <I'm> was? <laughs> What's up with the little doo doo stick? What's up know. with the dog treat? Just hey, that's a fucking dog treat, dude. It's a Kit Kat. That's a shit cat, dude. Oh, that shit. thing looks like doo doo. God, that's a good Google, dude. It's a good Goog. Mm-hmm. Just two dudes eating ice cream. Just Googling dudes. <laughs> that's creepy. They look like they just killed a whole family in and their who house. who really eats those shitty-ass lollipops? How's he going to eat that lollipop with no teeth? Do you see how he has no teeth? Do you see that? It's just He's just gumming. He's gumming the lolly. Hey, yo. You gumming the lolly, my dude? Hey, yo. Those guys don't even look real. That looks AI generated. I don't even know what's real anymore, <laughs> honestly. Uh, for those of you listening, uh, we are Googling pictures of dudes eating ice cream. Uh, we rent a studio for a couple of thousand a month <laughs> <laughs> to watch, <laughs> to make content about dudes eating ice cream. We're laughing at Google right now. This We're is li- my dream. I'm living my dream with my bud. 
I, my ice cream buddy. I dreamed about this. I I prayed for you, dude. My ice cream, my heterosexual, uh, platonic, ice cream friend. That helps me make the, one of the funnest things I've ever created. Oh, here's another. This dude. show, dude. This show rules. It's so much fun. This dude. is this is the best episode I've ever done. It's the best time of the week. Like I'm, when we get to do it, I'm like, yes. It is, dude. I have a great time. And thank you guys for listening. All 50 of you who listened day one, you're the you're the best. You're the best. If I had a, f- dude, what's 50, dude? God damn it! I know it's early, but I want a Patreon. This shit so bad. God damn it, dude. Yeah. I want a, I want a Patreon, but I feel like we need to do extra. If I did a Patreon, let me know if you do a Patreon. We do secret episodes once a month where we say a bunch of fucked up shit, dude. And uh, yeah. if it's Patreon, then maybe we do like a racist drops. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing racist shit anymore. You're going to have to go to the Patreon for that one. <laughs> no more voices. No more. No more uh, oh, you want to hear me? <laughs> then hop on over to the Patreon. Oh, dude, yes. Hop on over to the Patreon. Just put all the voices behind the paywall. I put, <laughs> the, I put the Africans behind the wall. Put them on the other side of the wall where they belong. You want to hear the You want to hear the, You want to hear the Australian guy? You I'm sorry. To... Can't, they're not letting me in. You'll have to uh, head over to the Patreon for... Uh, if you wanna hear from me, if you wanna, if you wanna see me handle big black snakes, <laughs> you're gonna have to head over to the Patreon. Dude, we should just record a bunch of drops like that. Yeah, that would be awesome. Hey, bro, like, um, hey, bro, if you're watching this for free, I'm gonna need you to either sub to the Patreon or head into those bathrooms because they're dirty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to clean those bathrooms or, you know, sub to the Patreon. Five dollars, five dollars a month. For five dollars a month, <laughs> you can support the Radio Ridley Radio podcast. This shit is not free, motherfucker. Oh, it's free for you now. But this is a labor of love. I'm putting actual money into this. And this is the dumbest shit I've ever done. <laughs> what a waste. What a waste. My wife wants to buy a house. I said, no, no, no. We must make the podcast. Baby, the podcast will bring the house. The house will bring the home. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I have to look at pictures of dudes with Taylor eating ice cream. Babe, (laughs) no, babe, I promise. This is going to get us out of the hood. I absolutely promise you, babe. I'm going to get us out of this situation. We're going to be in the hills. Radio Ridley Radio to the moon, babe. You just have to believe, all right? Because, like, if you're not, if you don't want to believe, you can head back home and live with your parents. Because this is what I do now. I don't even do stand-up anymore. All right? I'm a, I'm a full-time podcaster. These are my fucking dreams. All right? And I'm reco- I just want you to know that I'm doing this for us. I'm doing this for us. And I don't feel supported. All right? Two, three times a week, I drive 40 minutes to, nor- I drive 40 minutes to the studio. And we Google pictures of gay dudes eating ice cream and then we laugh at it because this is the content that people want. This is the content that people deserve. <laughs> and I'm bringing that to them. I'm, I'm, I'm offering a service and it's racist caricatures <laughs> and being an asshole. And dudes and, eating ice cream. And prank calling Dairy Queens. <laughs> I'm interrupting capitalism for my podcast. <laughs> and if you want to hear more of Motivated... Uh, white dude, you're gonna have to get to on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah if you want to hear more corny, um, um, motivational white dude shit, then you're gonna have to head over to the Patreon for that. I always love those. Have you seen those? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> maybe. I, I, my my reels. All it is is like I. It used to just be big fucking jugs. It was just jugs, jugs, and I've just. Now you're a man of culture. Well, Instagram knows. Well, Zuck <laughs> Zuck listens. Zuck hears me going. Hey, babe, can we have sex? And she's like, no, not right now. Hey, babe, can we have sex? No, not right now. I got you, dude. I'll get you later. I promise. And then Zucker's like, Zucker Cuck is like, dude, bring in the jugs. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like this guy could need some, because you some uh, jugs. Bring in the big titty, uh, bring in the extremely overweight women that are somehow shaped nicely. <laughs> bring in the BB, BB dubs that Michael's tiny Asian penis could never pl- please. <laughs> <laughs> They're just at their ass cheeks are like fucking twelve inches deep. I'm like, I'm not even getting to the pussy, dude. I'm just fucking titty fucking the the first you have two to, inches. Like, jack them up. Yeah, yeah. I'm like titty fucking the first two inches of their butt cheeks. I'm not even like in there all the way. <laughs> I'm just t- I'm just fucking butt cheeks, dude. I'm not even in the puss. 
There's, that's all it is. It's like crucially fucking big tittied women. They're like, all right, dude, bring in bring in the thirst trap reels. Yeah, bring in the. I'm, we're over here fucking editing. We're making footage. We're, we come here. We we record. We fucking we put the work in. We we try to, you know, make something out of nothing. And then this bitch puts on a string kini and does jumping jacks in her uh, astroturf backyard in her L.A. fucking mansion. Just fucking 34 million views. <laughs> fucking, uh... <laughs> We're giving the people what they what they really want. The, yeah. the gay dudes eating ice cream gay, and laughing yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so we're fucking working, funny. We're working hard, dude. That's so fucking funny, dude. Dan Soder talked about that in his new special. He talked about that in his... I'm just remember, like, Dan Soder brought that up in his new special, and he was talking about the dude uh, the dude in the comments of those, you know, those horny thirst trap posts. Mm -hmm. There's always a dude in the comments who's like, hope you're having a great day. Ew. <laughs> he goes, ew, you're so horny. <laughs> like, you give a fuck about this bitch's day. <laughs> and that joke kills me because, like, I used to work with a guy like that. Uh, I worked with the have a good day. Like, he fucking, ugh. ugh. She doesn't like you, bro. Yeah, she doesn't. She's not even going to read this. Yeah, call those her guys a whore. Are, those guys are crazy that they think, like, being sweet to this woman that's already showered in attention. Your boy's glistening. I'm I know. I was just going to say it's an extra sweaty episode of Radio. Really, really sweat. Radio. Well, I'm fucking on Alpha Brain, I, and I'm, I, I'm doing the Jackie Chan you're thing. You're crushing. Oh, the Jackie Chan was cardio. The Jackie Chan was work. <laughs> Give it That's to us again, That's the new dude. clip. That's the rush hour <laughs> clip. <laughs> Jackie. Carter. you have to jump. I ain't jumping down there, Jackie. Carter, you jump now. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> when you kicked your feet, I was so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chris Chris Tucker's mad gay. He's so funny though. Dude, he's I don't know what I don't know what the hell happened to Chris Tucker, but look him he's up. Sitting on that rush hour money. And Friday. And the fifth element. You remember Chris Tucker from Fifth Element? I've never actually watched that. You've never seen it, dude. You know I haven't seen stuff. Bro, you know what we should do? We should take an eighth of mushrooms and watch the fifth element. Type in Chris Tucker Fifth Element. You're gonna laugh so fucking hard. You're gonna. Like, I've what? seen the picture. It's me, Alabaster Jones. That's where I got the character. That's how I made the character. Chris Tucker, the Fifth Element, dude. I don't want to look at all bloated fifty-year-old Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want twenty-seven-year-old Chris Tucker. Dude, iconic. That's how people dress now. That's crazy. That's that, how like, MGK dresses. That's how people dress now. Like, I thought that was so wacky, like, all those outfits and all the costume design. But, bro, that's literally how people dress now. Same thing with Idiocracy. People, They wore a – Mike Judge bought a bunch of Crocs for Idiocracy because he was like, these are dumb shoes. Nobody's ever going to wear these in the future. Everybody wears Crocs now. It's crazy that they gave him, like, the Japanese pompadour. That's like a Japanese pompadour thing. Thank you, Taylor. You're a goddamn professional. Did you guys see that on camera? And it smells like he cleaned the toilet with this. No, no, no. I, w I wash that rag all the time with soap. Hell yeah. And I let it hang dry so she's clean. <laughs> that was that was some cardio for sure, boys. That was. Good. We so, got to make, uh, we gotta make uh, Michael Ridley sweat rags. That would be yeah, on the, brand. The chinky sweat rag. Rag. And sweatbands. The, te the terrible tower. Oh, dude, and you can get a three-pack that comes with a wristband, an, a headband, and a... Cock ring. Cock ring. The yeah. chinky sweat cock ring. Get <laughs> yours now. It's literally just like a fucking... Make your girl it's come a little, for the first time. It's a little donut gasket. It's like this big. <laughs> the chinky sweat cock ring. Fucking... <laughs> micro cock? Say no more. Say bye-bye to micro penis. With the chinky sweat cock ring. Say hello to Michael penis. <laughs> say bye bye to micro penis and say hello to Michael's penis with the <laughs> chinky sweat <laughs> cock ring. Patented technology that'll make your hog. <laughs> that'll make your go. <laughs> Patented technology that'll turn your piglet into a hog. <laughs> what? The chinky sweat cock ring. Can now you? at michaelridley.bigcartel.com. Go buy a t shirt, they're 25 bucks. Jesus Christ. Can you tell me what a cock ring actually does? Because I always it thought restricts it... the blood flow, leaving your dick. So what's the, I'm a cock ring. Make... I'm a cock ring advocate. Okay, I just don't know what it is. I'm a CCA. I'm a CRA. I'm cra. 
I'm a cock ring advocate, dude. So basically, it's a uh, it's a restrictive band that goes at the base of your shaft, and basically, like when your dick's all like soft and shit, you start getting, you know, you start getting the, uh, you know, you start channeling your, you start channeling your, uh, you start channeling your chakras, and uh, the blood starts flowing to your member, your chakras. Yeah, you start channeling your chakras, and your blood flows down. Uh, to your fir- uh, to your second in command, and um, basically, dude, it stops the blood from leaving your cock. So eventually, you ever you remember that fat teacher that you had who never got her wedding ring resized? <laughs> That's what happens to your penis. You guys remember that librarian who just had the the wedding ring and then just a fucking bulbous ring finger that just didn't make any sense why she was living that way and then you realize that teachers don't make that much money and that totally makes sense that she would just have a blood engorged finger <laughs> every day of her life so it's supposed to make your dick bigger full yeah blood? oh yeah 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 makes your makes your cock more vascular mm. and, and i know i don't know i'm speaking from experience I, i've been rocking cock rings for a minute dude the cock ring is and it's not that i need it it's just sometimes i want it why not why not why not go from like, like let's say your wiener's this thick, right? And then you put the cock ring on, and now it's like that. And it, dude, it looks, it looks disgusting. <laughs> it's actually it's horrific. I hate if doing. You take it. it off. Does it? Does it hurt? It seems like it would hurt. Yeah, you gotta wait till it softens up. I have had a cock ring snap on my nuts before. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the, I've had the the cock ring blowback of. It had so yeah. There, I've had some uh, cock ring recoil. If you once. guys have any cock ring stories, uh, radio ridley radio at gmail dot. Yeah, radio ridley radio at gmail dot com. Uh, put cock ring story in the subject line, dude. <laughs> holy shit, that, dude. I remember one time. Uh, I had this cock ring called the Crazy Eight. <laughs> it was the it was the Crazy Eight. So it was like once for your shaft, and then one cradles your nuts. No, dude. So like like my dick would be like this, and then my crazy nuts. Eight. The crazy eight, dude. It would like isolate my nuts, dude. And when you perform doggy style sex, your balls become a pendulum. They become a door knocker for the ladies' clitoris. And uh, honestly, dude, it's <laughs> the crazy eight. The crazy eight. Boom, 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 boom. My dick goes in one piece. My nuts go around the other piece. I'm hitting it from the back, baby. Now she's squatting everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. The crazy eight, the crazy eight. Radio Ridley Radio, I just did a goddamn Motorhead riff. Dude, the first one ever. A motorhead, co- just, motorhead cock ring riff. You just heard a Motorhead cock ring riff. You just heard a motor cock head riff. <laughs> how do you put on? How how do you put on a cock ring and ball stretcher? Right there. It's not a ball stretcher. That's it's what a, it it's says a, right here. It's a ball isolator. Oh, dude, I'm not stretching my balls with that thing. I mean, I mean, yeah, it kind of does stretch your balls, but it like it takes all the weight to your nuts, and then your nuts kind of swing better. <laughs> so it goes on like, <laughs> look at this right. picture, dude. I mean, that's an accurate representation of what will happen if you use a crazy eight. Guys, go to Michael Really uh, Big dot Big Cartel dot com to get the Chinky Sweat Crazy Eight patented cock ring the with, ice, with isolating ball fixture. <laughs> Isolate your balls with the Chinky Sweat <laughs> cock ring. <laughs> Yeah, we're selling cock rings now, guys. God Times are hard. It. I hit up my Chinese suppliers like, what are we going to do? I have 4,000 cock rings ready to ship. <laughs> I was like, dude, just bring them. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. We can't wait for the, we can't wait. I can't get in, uh, I can't get a hold of the vendor who's supposed to print chinky sweat on the side of them. <laughs> I have 4,000 cock rings ready to ship. <laughs> Nobody's what? buying the dick pills. Nobody buying the dick pill no more. Don't work. <laughs> they want a real result. Buy the, I have four thousand cock ring ready to ship. I need payment. So I, I, he, he, I mean, he literally was twisting my fucking arm. So I just went ahead and got him coming. So MichaelRidley.BigCartel.com, <clears throat> Chinky Sweat Shop. Go get you a crazy eight cock ring, guys. That has been the Radio Ridley Radio Podcast. Thank you guys so fucking much for tuning in. We had a really good time. We talked about Dairy Queen, talked about Alpha Brain, talked about goddamn uh, Jackie Chan, talked about Jet Li. You talk- did a Edgar winning. A performance. Yeah, I, that's the clip. That's the clip, dude. I did a, a Edgar winning a performance. I was a drug dealer for a little bit. That was cool. Uh, me and Taylor, you know, just appreciated each other. I did a motivational white guy that was 
No, seriously, babe, I'm going to get us out of the hood. Like, if you guys know, like, I need you guys to like and subscribe and share. Show your friends this. Because your boy is, like, trying to get out of the hood. You know, like, I grew up in the hood and, like, uh, I went to a... <laughs> I went to a black high school. I was the only I was the only uh, Chinese boy in the black high school, and I don't know if you can hear my you can hear it in my voice, but like I grew up in a black neighborhood, and uh, I, I still live in that, in that neighborhood, and I'm desperately trying to get out of it. So, like, uh, comment, subscribe, and you know, just show this to your friends. I'm literally like trying to get out of the hood, and let me know like if we should do Patreon episodes. I'm gonna. I don't really think that like our podcast is big enough to justify that, but like I really need some fucking money. Like, for real, like, I have to get out of the hood. Like, Dad, please, get me out of the hood. <laughs> I was totally capping. I don't like this. Bye. Radio Ridley Radio, no pussy-ass shit allowed.